There you go. Give him a little slack. Do it again. Do it again. There you go. Give him a little slack. Why do you do this? Why do I do it? Yeah. And I love riding young horses and I love young kids. And I don't want them to go the wrong way. There. Double half hitch. I'm Peyton Nelson and I'm from Post. And how long have you been coming here? Three years. He'll get horseback with me and show me how to do it. And is that, tell me if that helps or not. It'll help. Tell me why. If I'm doing something wrong, he'll teach me how to do it so I can do it on the next one. Now start milking him he, and lay your leg in this plank. Son, it just don't get no better than that right there. I'm thankful for Jeff helping me learn how to break horses and get them where you want them. What do you want to do when you grow up, when you get older? S start horses. always taught me to be really a kind person to horses and people and I'll always keep that with me because it applies everywhere. My favorite thing is how funny he is and he always finds a way to make us laugh no matter whether it's about the dogs or the horses or anything or anyone it's, we're always laughing. My name's Colton Wink from Post, Texas. I'm 16 years old and I work down here at Jeff Williams' place. How would you describe Jeff as a, a teacher? Very hands-on would be the best way to describe it. He wants you to learn it. He doesn't want to just show it to you and you just remember it. He wants you to go learn it. He wants to show you it and you go do it and put it into practice which really helps on the remembering part of it, keep it in your mind. I think the most important thing he's taught is patience. You have to be patient with them. You have to let them figure it out at their pace. And also you have to be forgiving. You can't be, get mad at them, which is hard some days, but you just have to kind of just let them figure it out and you just kind of suggest it to them. If I could tell Jeff thank you for one thing, it would be having the opportunity and being able to come down here and learn from him how to do it the right way. We're right out here because we want to get them like used to different like terrain and stuff like that and going down that creek bottom and stuff. So they'll get used to that kind of stuff, because if they're not, something bad could happen. Is this a fun part of the day for you to get to ride out? Yes, sir. What's fun about it to you? Just getting out, getting a good breeze, and seeing all the green grass. Mm -hmm. and, and why is it good for your young horses? Because it gets them tired. Are there any life lessons learned outside of the arena? Oh, Lord, yes. Uh, Integrity is one of them. You know, I, I think these kids, are, when they tell you they're going to be there at 5.15, they'll be there at 5.11, you, you know. And if, if, they, if you ask them when they come in, you know, did you have any trouble with that horse? Yes, sir. I mean, they don't hide it. They, they're full of honesty and integrity. The most valuable lesson they learn is hard work. It's never over. I mean, you just find a place to quit. And when, when you get back, there's, there's a parcel full of them waiting on you. you know? <laughs> You're not done. So they, they learn about hard work, responsibility, yeah. and manners. <laughs> He's 
re it's rewarding to watch them learn work ethic and and, and uh, the progress they make on the horses. But it's it's more rewarding watching them in years to come. Uh, most of them go on and really do something for themselves, and, and they they make a they make a bond with me. Most of them and stay in touch with me. I guess you could say I got a lot of kids, you know. A lot of kids. And that's rewarding. You know, they check on you and call you and stay hooked with you. But to really see them have success in their own life, that, that, that's what's rewarding to me.